everyone, Saki here, and I know it's been a hot minute. <laughs> it's been a while, and I know that I said that I was going to film this video several months ago. I am just getting around to it now because I've been super, super busy. Um, just to preface this, I did not plan this video at all. I actually just have a little bit of time because Killian is napping, and I'm actually on like a break week from school. And so, yeah, I thought I would just um, take the time to, you know, give you guys some insight on what's happening in my life. I know a couple of people have asked for this, so here we go. Again, I'd like to reiterate that this is completely unscripted. I have no idea what I'm even going to say. Let's just hope for the best. <laughs> I also really apologize if the video quality or the sound quality is a little bit weird. Um, I'm actually just filming this on my phone because I literally can't find any of my filming equipment or my camera charger. Okay, so we're just gonna go with it. All right, so let's start off with where I've been. So in case you don't follow me on Instagram or you hadn't seen my community posts, I actually started going to software engineering school. It's like a boot camp, so the school is actually only like seven or eight months. I'm actually almost done as well. I can't believe that's how long it's been um, that I'm almost done. I have one module left, which the program is broken into four modules. So I have finished three out of four. I'm currently learning um, front end engineering. If you guys aren't familiar with what that means, that is more of like the um, client side to programming or the more like user interactive side to programming. There's basically, if you break it down to its simplest terms, a front end and a back end to programming, whereas back end deals more with like data and just like the nitty gritty of programming. Front end is like the more like visual and client side is the best way that I can describe it really quickly. Um, yeah, so I've been doing that for... Oh my gosh, literally since February now, and I've been really, really enjoying it. I feel like I have kind of a knack for it, and I've just been really enjoying the programming in general. So the reason why I decided to go to software engineering school, it's kind of a long story and a long journey, but luckily some of you guys may already know like where I'm at in my life and what's been going on. So if you don't know what's going on, let me catch you up a little bit. So basically, um, for the past 10 years, I've owned and operated a restaurant here in Denver. I actually started the restaurant with my mom. It's been my mom's dream, like ever since coming to America, to own her own restaurant. And when I graduated college, she asked me if this was something I wanted to do with her. And I, <laughs> I didn't really want to necessarily in the fact that like it wasn't my passion or my dream or anything, but I really wanted to help her out and I knew she would need like support. One, because English is not her native language and she has like no idea about like the business side of things. Not that I had any idea either, but you know, I had to learn pretty quickly. And so yeah, we opened the restaurant in 2014 and that's what we've been doing ever since. I have been okay working there. I obviously really love working with her. My mom is basically like my best friend. So, you know, it's been fine. However, um, on the flip side of that, I, it's not like my passion or anything. I just do it because I help her and I do it because I, you know, have fulfillment in it and I do make good money and, you know, there's a lot of benefits for sure, but I kind of feel like it's time for me to do something on my own and for myself, especially now with having Killian, um, having a baby kind of like changed my whole perspective. I really want to like start focusing on a new chapter of my life and like kind of just moving forward focus more on you know my wants and needs and my family's wants and needs. So there's that. There's also the fact that my mom is getting older and she is getting tired of um, you know having to physically go work every day so I'm hoping to get a good enough job to where you know I can support her fully as well and she doesn't need to go in and work anymore. Um, so yeah, there's that side too. And then another side, of course, is that, you know, having a physical work to go into all the time, especially with the restaurant, we're working like, you know, 50, 60 hour a week sometimes it just doesn't give me enough time with Killian and my family. So yeah, I just want a career where I can stay at home a little bit more and not have to like go into a physical location. So that's kind of like the gist of why I'm transitioning into a new career in general. So now why software engineering specifically? Well, I have a lot of friends or a couple of friends who are software engineers and they all have like this amazing work-life balance. They all make a really good amount of money and 
although I feel like I came into this industry at a time where it's very not necessarily as stable as it was before and I know there are a lot of um, like uncertainties in this field nowadays <laughs> I still feel like it is one of those careers that you know it's just gonna keep going up and there are still gonna be jobs you know, forever, hopefully. I mean, I don't know. That's just how I feel. And I'm trying to think positive about it. Um, but yes, yeah, so that is why I chose software engineering. I also think that I have a knack for it, which I really didn't know going in. Um, but, you know, after going through my programming school, I do feel like I'm picking it up pretty quickly. And I do really enjoy it. By the way, if you want to see any of like the projects and things that I've done, I will link some things down below if you're more interested. I also got a couple of questions about um, the school that I'm attending. So I'm attending Turing School of Software Engineering. It is a school based in Denver. However, they were fully remote. So they're accepting people from all over the world as long as they're in specific time zones. So um, I will leave a link to the school down below as well in case you are interested. Like I said, it is a like seven or eight month program. They are accredited. You can get a school loan. It's very legit. I totally forgot, but another question that I always get or have been getting recently is, what is my day-to-day -day like? What is it like going to software engineering school? So I'm going to answer that question while you guys watch a few clips from a video I actually made for my software engineering school. So basically my day-to-day -day has been going to school from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We usually have class starting from about 9 a.m. Now whether we have lectures or work time depends on the day and where we're at in the program, but for the most part it's like a combination of project work time and then lessons. In addition to that, I've also been working at the restaurant. Now I cut my schedule in about half, so I'm working 30 hours a week. I start working around 4.35 and then I stay until 9.30, 10-ish. And then I come home and I work on projects or do homework or pre-work until around midnight. And then I get a solid like six to seven hours of sleep. And then of course, in addition to that, I am hanging out with Killian as much as I can. I try to make time for him every day during my lunch break and then also get some time with him on the weekends. My husband has been really great supporting me throughout this journey. He's actually now a full-time stay-at-home dad. And that's how we've been balancing, you know, my career transition with my software engineering school and also taking care of the baby. So yeah, I really have enjoyed the program and my time there and I'm really excited to finish out. I have about um, five-ish weeks left. I guess in terms of where this channel is headed and where I'm kind of going with things, I don't really know. I am not super, I don't want to say I'm not super into luxury anymore, but my priorities obviously have changed. I haven't really bought any luxury items at all lately, mainly because, you know, my family is just living off the one income and I don't want to like make any crazy moves with the money that we have. Um, and also I just feel like my priorities have shifted to where I'm like, you know, obviously buying more stuff for the house and for Killian for my family and not so much myself anymore, which I'm totally okay with. I feel like I spent a lot of money on myself in the past and, you know, this is just kind of moving forward and like, you know, the next step or the next phase of my life. So I just don't know where I could go with this channel. Um, I'm not really good at vlogging either. I don't feel like my life is interesting enough to where um, I can do like a day to day like life channel. I genuinely do love YouTube and creating content and talking to you guys. So if there's anything like you want from me, please let me know. Or if you are just like, no, Saki, go live your life. Like, get off YouTube. Let me know that too. I'm curious to see what you guys think. Yeah, so this video was kind of short, but I just wanted to catch you guys up. If you do have any questions, please leave them down below and I will try to answer them. I know I've been really, really bad at checking YouTube comments lately, but it's because I haven't been uploading anything. And like I said, I've been super busy with the program. One more thing is I am job hunting right now. So if you guys know anywhere in the U.S. that's hiring a front end software developer or a full stack software developer, because that's where I kind of want to end up, um, please let me know. I would love to chat. Um, the best way to reach me is to message me on Instagram. I would really, really appreciate any help that I can get. So yeah, that was it for my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I'll hopefully see you in another one. Bye! Repeating my mind, rolling around, stuck in your bed